Hi Cancer and welcome back to my channel. My name is Renee and this is New Angel Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me. Cancer, today's video is going to be your weekly prediction for the 17th of January uh, starting tomorrow. I hope you enjoy the reading. It's going to be a very quick, short, sharp and shiny uh, prediction for the week ahead. Let's get it. Let's start. Angel Spirits Guides, Angel Spirits Guides. What does Cancer need to know for the week ahead? Thank you, Spirit. What does Cancer need to know for the week ahead? Thank you, Spirit. What does Cancer need to know? Thank you. Wow, you've got the Six of Wands. Beautiful. Ten of Cups. Wow. And the Ace of Swords. This is beautiful. Bottom of the deck, you've got the Page of Coins. Now let's clarify that Page of Coins on the split. And you have the Fool. Okay, so this is great. Really great reading, um, Cancer. This is so super positive. All right, let's get started. So Six of Wands is one of my favorite cards. This is all about a victory for you this week, Cancer. You're revered, okay? People are looking up to you, your peers, your community, uh, friends and family. You know, you've, you're going to be kicking some goals this week, which is really positive. You're also vibrating in the numerology of the year itself. So six is the number of the year, 2022. And when you've got a six in the card as well as part of your spread, it also means you're, you know, you're in sync with your energy this week. Super, super positive. Um, you know, you're a success. Okay, there's no doubt about it. You've got the Ten of Cups in the center of your reading. This is around family, abundance, and the Pot of Gold at the end of the rainbow. The Ten also indicates you've sort of reached a peak in terms of family uh, and, you know, emotional abundance. Okay, so there's been a level of learning here that you've just encountered as part of your daily life. Um, and this week, it's sort of the pinnacle of that. You're going to actually be, you know, reaching, um, you know, maximum potential here when it comes to cup energy. So that's about, you know, as I said, filling your cups, making sure that, you know, your home and your, ho your house and your um, family connection is, is very positive. The outcome for the reading is the Ace of Swords. Um, so this is all about thinking about your own mental health, okay, now. So you, you obviously invest in a lot of your emotional content, your a lot of emotional time with others, but it, no, it does take its toll on you in terms of your mental health. So start st focusing on yourself again this week, Cancer. It's your turn, okay? It's your turn. Just remember that. Aces are about the self and also about new beginnings. So I also think that you're um, definitely focusing on uh, perhaps also a new idea that's coming through, but you're also very clear in your intentions because the aces are all about clarity, um, especially the ace of swords. The overarching energy for the reading is the page of coins. Now this is about eyeballing a concept or a new idea, or even perhaps going back to school or learning a new course of study. Pages are all about messengers. They haven't graduated yet. They're still in sort of university mode. Um, and look, this could indicate as well, you could be learning something new at work. You may not necessarily be going back to school per se, but you might be learning a new skill this week or actually looking at it. And being that you've got this ace of um, swords here, I feel like you're sort of going into sort of innovation mode as well. You're thinking about how to do things differently um, in order to maybe you know, increase your revenue and your income, um, as well as, you know, your own career path. It's clarified by the four here. So this is about a new journey for you. This is about taking a leap of faith and actually having confidence in what you're looking at, the kind of course and new things that you would like to earn, uh, learn, sorry, with a sense of um, innocence and also just a, a newfound, you know, sense of joy and optimism, you know, because the fall is air energy as well. So you are going to be using your brain this week, but you are also going to be using it in a way that's very carefree and, you know, very optimistic. So it's a great reading, Cancer. You know, there's success here, abundance in the family and home life. Um, you know, you're thinking with clarity. You are starting to focus on yourself again now that you've sort of invested that emotional abundance into those around you. Um, and I feel this week as well, you're putting yourself at the top of the list, which is really important. You know, you have to nourish yourself and provide that self-care, especially in regard to mental health. It's super important. 
I wish you a fantastic week, Cancer. If you really enjoyed this video and you, uh, you know, resonated with the reading, please give my video a thumbs up. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell, and you'll be notified of when I upload next, which will be every Sunday for every single sign as a weekly quick snapshot prediction. If you'd like to check out your other positions as well, you can read your moon, your sun, uh, sorry, this is your sun, rising and Venus signs, crosswatch, whatever you like, it's up to you. If you'd like a personal reading, check out my website below, newangeltarot.com for bookings. I book all of my readings online, so check out the website if you're interested. And also, if you'd like to learn tarot with me, you can. I'm doing a six-week beginner course starting on the 6th of February, and also a three-week advanced tarot course also starting on the 6th of February. So one's for six weeks and one's for three weeks, just for an hour once a week. If you're interested in that, check out the website below, newangeltarot.com. Thank you so much for watching, Cancer. I hope you really enjoyed the reading and have a fantastic week. Bye, Cancer.